What are you writing this weekend to recalibrate a cautious call? Yeah, good, uh, good to see you guys. I mean, our call really hasn't changed. Uh, you know, uh, we're very disciplined on price. Uh, and as you know, we, we got tactically bullish last fall at 3500 because that was a good price. And now we're, of course, back to the high end of the range, and that's not a good price. Uh, and that's at the S&P level. That's not really what's been interesting over the last six or seven months, as you know. What's been interesting is what's going on under the surface. Um, I would say in the fourth quarter, that was a very hated rally uh, because it was led by kind of the old economy, financials, industrials, energy, materials. It was all based on, you know, the China reopening story, which was legitimate. And technology stocks obviously disappointed and they did not trade well in the fourth quarter. So it was a hated rally because that's what people own. Now, of course, the S&P is trading at the same price it was in early December when we got cautious again. And tech is obviously going to the moon. And now this rally is love because these you know, this is what people want to buy. This is what people want to own. It's a lot more interesting and, you know, kind of exciting to own AI and te technological revolution than it is to own some of those old economy stock that's, you know, well, why do I want to own this long term? So it's just an interesting development. We would characterize this as the bear market is continuing, okay? This is what bear markets do. They, they're designed to fool you, confuse you, make you do things you don't want to do, chase things at the wrong time, probably sell them at the wrong time. And the overriding, we think the overriding driver, okay, of this year's rally has been increased liquidity. Liquidity has improved dramatically, both on a global scale and the weaker dollar has helped. That's going the wrong way now again. And then, of course, ironically, the banking failures that happened in March led to an injection of liquidity from the FDIC and the Fed. And we think those things have really conspired to drive the market. I mean, nobody talks about the fact that crypto is up 60% this year, okay? <laughs> and then the next one, of course, is the is the tech world. So th this is what's going on. We think that the fundamental case does not support, you know, where stocks are trading today, whether it's at the index level or at the single stock level. And the second half is going to be a bit choppier and probably downward in the index.